You need to be looking really carefully when checking out this x-ray. Let's go through the case. Firstly, let's have a look at a normal chest x-ray. Here we can see the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. On a normal x-ray, you should see a concavity between these, something called the AP or the aortopulmonary window. Going back to our case, we can see a subtle density overlying the AP window. This is abnormal. As this overlies the AP window rather than obscuring it altogether, we can be confident something lies either anterior or posterior to the mediastinal structures. And look, on the CT we can see there is an anterior mediastinal mass just as we thought on the chest x-ray. So what causes an anterior mediastinal mass? Remember the four T's, thymic epithelial tumour, thyroid goiter, teratomas and terrible lymphoma. Okay, the last one's a little bit dodgy, but you get the idea. The mass was biopsied under CT guidance, confirming a thymoma. However, there was one other finding on the chest x-ray. Again, this is really subtle. The right side of the heart is less dense than the left. On the CT scan, we can see this relates to an incidental benign pericardial cyst at the right cardiophrenic angle. This doesn't really change management, but the thymoma does. And although a lot of these are indolent, this has the potential to metastasize. So picking these up early can really change a patient's life.